Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Tutor Studio, and today I'm gonna show with you a to the five star review title in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're on the edit page and I'm gonna share with you how to recreate this uh, free sample title from our testimonial title pack. You can download that title by clicking the link in the description below and installing the DRFX file. Uh, you will get basically this uh, title here that you can find in title, the right sample, and then it will be installed right here. You can drag it and drop it here in your timeline and you will have the title with all the functionality right here uh, in your inspector. I'm gonna share with you how to recreate a similar title to this one. I'm not gonna do exactly the same one because it's pretty basic how we've done it. Basically, we've imported a SVG file and then we've just keyframed size animation on each of those stars. So that's pretty basic. We covered those kind of animation already on the channel. I think that just we've used this technique for a specific reason because we did it to export uh, like some stuff here in the inspector, but I would like to share with you another way to do that directly in DaVinci Resolve without using a SVG file, but directly creating the star in Fusion. So let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start fresh right here, go down to effect, bring a new Fusion composition in the timeline, and now we can go over to Fusion. We have the media out right here, and now I'm gonna go over here in tool, and we're gonna just scroll down to shape. We're gonna use the shape node to create those stars. So first off, we're gonna bring in the working area a S render, and then we're gonna bring a S star. You always need a S render to render shape when you're using shape node. So now I'm just gonna connect the stars to the S render, and then the S render to the media out. Now we have a six branch star, that's not what we want. We want five branch, so we're gonna reduce that right here. I'm gonna increase here the border width to have more rounded edges and corner. And here we're gonna want to straight up that uh, star. So here I'm gonna put uh, 18.5 and it should straight it up uh, properly like so. Now between my S star and my S render, I'm gonna bring uh, S transform. So we're just gonna take that and bring the N transform here in the timeline. And then I'm gonna hold shift and just place that in between the S star and the S render. And now basically here, as you can see, I have the connection happening between the S star, S transform, S render, media out. Now we're gonna reduce the size of the star. So to do that here, I'm gonna just right click on X size, click on expression and link those two with an expression. And so now I'm gonna reduce the size of the star. And after the next step, I'm gonna need to, to bring here a S grid between the S transform and the S render. So we can just here, just click on the S transform and then click on S grid, or we can do it the same way as we've done for the other one. Just bring that in the working area, hold shift, and then place it in between those two. We're gonna bring the grid cell Y to zero, and then we're gonna increase the grid cell X to five. So we have five star display right here. Now I'm gonna go back to S star and I'm gonna go to style and I'm gonna change the color of my star. So we're gonna select like orange, yellow color. Let's go with orange right now. And that's it. Now we have our design, we have all five stars. We can jump into the animation. So first thing that I want to animate here is the S grid. So I want the animation to add at the frame 25 and here we're gonna make an animation on the X offset. So I'm gonna reduce a little bit the offset like that. I'm happy with that. It's just a good uh, spacing in between all the stars. I'm gonna drop a keyframe on this and then I'm gonna go down to frame 10 and I'm gonna reduce the X offset down to zero, which basically gonna merge all the stars together. So now as you can see, the star will just go out of this original star. So now the second animation here, we're gonna make an animation on the size of this star. So the animation gonna end at frame 10. So now we're gonna make an animation on the S transform. I'm gonna here go to the Y size, frame 10, and we're gonna just leave one keyframe right here. And then we're gonna go down to frame zero. I'm gonna bring the Y size down to zero. And now if we play it, that's our animation. But as you can see, it's not the smoothest. It's quite clunky. So we're gonna fix that by opening here the spline editor. We're gonna select here the S transform, the S grid, just click right there to have all our point in one spot. And then we're gonna select everything. Hit the letter S on our keyboard. Then hit the letter T to bring the ease in and ease out tool. And we're gonna raise 
that to about 80, 85. So let's just do 85 like that. And now if we play it, we have an animation that is way smoother. And here you go, that's how you will do an alternate version of this free sample. Again, you can download the sample by clicking the link in the description below. You get a bunch of cool functionality here. You can adjust the timing of the animation. You can adjust the amount of stars that you want uh, to appear, uh, the size, color, a background, and you have a bunch of different animation alt options. And if you enjoyed this title, you can get the full pack on a website, which includes 10 testimonial review titles uh, that you can use for your video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment what kind of pack you would like us to make next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.